katas and aikido it seems like the conversation never ends uh, and it's like it, it goes around in circles. So take us for a, a quick loop about what you think about katas and Aikido as an art. Right. So, and I think we hit this before at the martial arts super show. We're talking to uh, the colonel there, right? Is that the Aikido, the, trying to push the Aikido into a modern fighting style is not really maybe the most applicable to that style. But the principles and concepts of Aikido, the joint locks, the, 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 thr the, you know, the throws and stuff like that, the movement in, movement out, right? Uh, whether it's my, you know, whether it's my bow staff or whether it's just my regular knife or that same type of movement footwork. The, the joint locks are joint locks or joint locks. Nothing really changed on joint locks. If I'm standing in Aikido, I can do the same joint locks on the ground as, as we discussed and talked about earlier, right? But knowing how the body mechanics work, knowing how to grab hold of and locks um, comes from the traditional Aikido. But now we're just doing it on the ground. We're doing it at different platforms. So I think, it, I think it's applicable in that. The, the katas for Aikido, um, a lot of it's just work in the mind, right? I mean, a lot of times doing... doing um, uh, doing kata for me is just something that I know these series of steps I can flow you know, my mind might be something that having trouble to sleep or something like that I'll go in and do four or five different katas and that get my mind open you know from this big open area where I'm thinking about all these things to where I really have to direct my path and my thinking and that's kind of important man you know just, just the idea of hey helps me sleep helps clear my mind right I mean why not do that sometimes all I want to think about is how do I move from here to there right um, you know, so the, I think, uh, I think, you know, for, for, I guess, lack of a better term, modern warrior that, you know what, katas are an important thing, right? Let's me focus my mind more. I'm, I'm still thinking about maybe, you know, my fighting area or something like that. I know that's not how a fight goes, but I know that those pieces in that, uh, in that, uh, form are just snapshots of different skills that I may need. Yeah. And I guess if you're doing it right and you're visualizing, even if you're not doing the movement exactly as you might in a fight. Sometimes we can't even determine that. Right, right. But even the fact that that's where your mind's at for a moment in time, and you're moving, blood's pumping, and you're breathing. Right, right. I mean, it. It. You never know. I mean, I, I think we talked about it before. I, I did a wrist out turn in a fight one time. You know, I never tried to do a wrist out turn. It was just how we ended up with the suspect and how he threw the punch put me in a right, beautiful position for a wrist out turn. It was to be something I'd never try in a real fight, but because I understood the concepts and principles of it and he presented those concepts and principles of it, that's what allowed that technique to work during that one snapshot moment in that fight. But because you uh, appreciate um, katas and Aikido, it doesn't mean you're ignoring the fundamentals. You're a boxer, you're a wrestler, you're, oh, yeah. I mean, you're grapping is your base. Yeah, grappling is my base. Uh, you know, I come from a, a also boxing background, and it's things that I'd like to go back to. Um, the Aikido's kind of came later on, and I wasn't, uh, you know, a hardcore practitioner. It was stuff that we did in the Marine Corps with some guys that were Aikido based off of that. You know, so started learning the basics of it, but it's still something I, that I'd love, you know. I, I trained in a Chinese style hungar for a long time. Um, you know, again, not, not the best fighting style in the world, but you know what, some of the power coming off the ground, stuff like that. Um, some of the art of, of hungar, beautiful, right? Dragon dancing, the drums, that kind of stuff. You know, so a lot more into it than just, you know, how do you break a, a piece of ice? <laughs> <laughs> but that power generation a yeah. lot of time, yeah, that, that, some of that does transfer to fights. Some of that transfers to grappling. Thank you, Gary.